be your everything, gave my everything I sold out Now just look at me, I'm a ghost Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is me, your girl, Rihanna Marie, and you're tuning into another makeup tutorial. Today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this butterfly look, and I had to come and give y'all something creative because I was feeling like I need to get this look out. I had it in my iPad for some time, and I was procrastinating because I was like, I can't do the butterfly look the whole time. If y'all see on my eyes, I did the butterfly look. Okay, it's very easy. I did look up a little bit of inspiration, tutorials. These were tutorials like back, back in the day, like what to say, 10 years ago. When it was like doing a butterfly look, but it was like not looking. So I went off of that and I came up with this. Okay, y'all know I'm a perfectionist and I'm gonna perfect everything that I do. So yeah, y'all, I really wanna get into this look because like I said, I am tired and I've been up for a very long time. I'm not even gonna tell y'all how long I've been up for. Um, Cause it seemed like when I told y'all I used to do makeup for three hours, it extended to an extra three. I want y'all to keep watching so y'all can know exactly how to do this butterfly look. And y'all, yes, I used my palette today my blush palette I use the shades Stop Girl Era and His Favorite Girl I use those two on my cheeks today and I can't wait for y'all to shop but nonetheless if y'all want to see how to just look then keep on watching y'all so it's literally 102 I was gonna say 105 it was 102 a.m. in the morning April 3rd it was the second but that's the the third so now that i do an eye look i already did my brows and i'm gonna come with my brows going on camera we're about to go in with my icy zero base i want to come and do a look because i said in the last video that i just uploaded i was like baby i'm doing a look regardless okay i'm going to stay up and we're gonna we're gonna do this look i'm gonna do a green butterfly look i don't know how this butterfly gonna turn out but I want to do a green butterfly look. We just gonna go with the flow. So I'm gonna take my icy base. So let's get started. I didn't burn it. Burn. That's icy zero. I just con actually I'm gonna look and see like where they at because I just contacted them and asked them like where is my stuff at? Y'all need to hurry up. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna spicy about this look. I just put these colors on the back of my hand. Do y'all see that color combination? Girl, I don't know. Play. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I'm just going in with these two palettes for the transition. Um, I miss, like I said, I miss, I have so many palettes, like I need to start using them, okay? I have a palette as well, and I do have these colors in there. Well, technically not these colors. I do have an orange, but I think my orange is like a lighter orange. I got some oranges, but these colors are like darker. I was looking for a dark color combination, and I found it. So my 3503. Fierce by Nature, and then my ABH Norvina, Norvina, Norvina collection. Y'all, I haven't, I haven't used this like that at all. Like, if I ever pass away, and my mama, uh, I don't know, she might not sell myself, but if y'all better use these colors up, <laughs> these two colors in here. But look, I haven't even used this palette like. I'm so glad that they is in my reach because I feel like I be bad palettes and they just be collecting dust to be honest. So we're gonna go in our 35O palette and I'm gonna take this color right here. That's the darkest color that's on my hand, and we're gonna take that. I feel like this look, the transition along with the the base of the color that I'm that I'm gonna lay down is gonna pop. Like it's gonna pop, and I wanna try my best to do the line work for the butterfly. And then that's it. First brush I'm gonna take is my Morphe 224 brush. It's just a flat brush. These colors do have a lot of kickback. So I'm going to press this. And I'm gonna stay low with this because like I said, I wanna add all of those colors. Like I said, this goes with any palette because when the palette has a lot of kickback, it does get caked. The shadow gets caked up on each other. You want to make sure you tap all that excess off so that it won't look like dry. So at the arch, I like to curve, start curving down. I'm 
gonna start coming up. The second shade that I'm gonna be going in with is out of the Norena, 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 girl. The Norena palette. See two right there. Morphe 506 brush, y'all already know. Get back, all palettes need to be getting back on now. I'm about to go into A2. I'm about to go ahead and take A2 and we're about to put this right on top of the red with another 506 brush. Even though some of these shots will get lost as as we go, that's okay. Because um we're gonna go back in anyway and blend everything in. This is not blended, this is just basically mapping the colors out the songs on Beyonce's new album I'm gonna tell y'all my favorite so my first one that I really like the most is Riverdance I don't know but Tyrant too I don't know if that's gonna be I don't know if I should put that number one cause that Tyrant song that's 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 a jam too but that was gonna be number two but I do like River Dance, cause it be like, dance, mm -mm -mm -mm. dance. I don't know. I think I'm gonna put River Dance for number one, Tyra for number two, Jolene for number three, Levi. Is it? I think it's like Levi Jeans or something like that. For number four, and then I don't know if I I I I gotta listen to the rest of it, but. I listen to most of the songs on there. Um, but everybody likes spaghetti. Um, I like it, but it's not my favorite. But yeah, so I went ahead and blend, blended out everything. I'm also using my Fabulous 6 brushes for more, because they're so tiny. I'm about to go ahead and take my makeup wipes and also my q tips to clean this up. Make sure they they are even. I'm gonna cut this. That is like that. I want to go ahead and. Take my Q-tip and kind of like sharpen it, like sharpen it. But those two combinations, the whites and then the micellar water, like, it just eats up. It, it don't even need to be, that's cut right there. It's already cut. So the color that we about to put on here is the P. Louise. It's a limited edition, but this is not limited edition. Everybody like this, so it's still on her site. This is the Acid Region. This is the one that is P. Louise times Mitchell Acid Region Base. In the shade lime light. Yes, baby, is about to put lime green on this lid. I'm try to cu customize my brush too while I'm at it because um it's starting to have like prickly hairs, and I don't want that to make it like the sharpest cut.
about to go on my palette, y'all. And I'm going to take the color Cash App Queen, which is this one right here. Cash App Queen. And I'm going to go ahead and set this whole lid. Look at that green. Look at that green. Green did make it darker um, because my, like I said, my my colors in my palette are um, darker. I could have just put like translucent powder on top of it. Well, let me see how I'm going to make this butterfly. Because it's already in a wing form. If you get me, y'all get me a fan. I had to look to see how to do this butterfly. I think I remember doing it. I think my easiest way is to go up this way and then curve it. Cur I guess like curve it this way. And then I start right here. And then go one, two, three, and fill it in. And then add the white dots. Y'all. <laughs> I don't even do crazy stuff like that. But I'm just going. If I mess up in y'all, I'm going to just tell y'all because I can't. But I'm not going to mess up. You know why? Because I know how to do it. I wanted to do paints. Like my with my mirror thing. But I don't know. If I should do paints or just do a liner. And then I have that matte liner that I usually use. I think I got a wet and wet. Oh, y'all yeah, was right here. Still playing. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate and do it. I'm not even going to talk about doing it. Y'all, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't know I was going with this, but I snap with that. Wait till the white dots get on here. I'm just trying to tell myself everything don't have to be as perfect. Because it just don't work. <clears throat> Y'all, this butterfly look about to be so fire. And then go ahead and clean up the edges. Well, that wing part <clears throat> a little bit. Y'all, when I add these white dots and these rhinestones to... So I gotta do this one, just like this that. So I'm gonna take y'all with me on how I do it. The only thing with this is, I don't want my brushes to be, to act right. Like, come on, you need to act right. All right, y'all, so now that I got the eye look where I want it to be, but to take this up a notch, we're going to add white dots to the black area, y'all, and rhinestones. And then after that, 
lashes and we're gonna finish this look off. I did a little back test on my hand just to make sure. I just sprayed it with some continuous mist setting spray. And I'm just about to be placing the dots. I think I'm gonna get a smaller one to add rhinestones. So I'm gonna add a bunch of white dots in my face so this could dry pretty quick. The white, the white dyes be making it come to life. I'm eating this look up. The it. I'm gonna place some rhinestones just in the like in it. Um, randomly. It don't even matter what size, honestly. When I say I ate, I ate this butterfly look up. Like nothing else matters at this point. Nothing else. Five, six hours. You know you go when it takes. It is time for the face. However, I already started prepping my face with the Tula 24/7 Hydrating Serum. Then I just went ahead and took my Milk Eclipse primer oh, I'm just waiting for it to dry because it is kind of still wet take my fan let it dry and we're gonna put powder in that area and then we're gonna put we're gonna do basically our technique that we do when we do the foundation lately which is basically contour foundation concealer
I'm about to go ahead and take my new blush palette. This is called Diamonds Make Me Blush. And I'm about to go ahead and go into Soft Girl Era and also his favorite girl. Fix my blushes. These did not come to play. And then now I'm about to do my under eye. I'm about to go ahead and add this in the waterline. I'm gonna do blue. This is Salty AF. This is the blue that I used in my last tutorial. No, the last one before the one I just uploaded. In my waterline. So now I'm about to wipe all of this powder off and we about to spray the face down. Okay, for lips, I'm about to go ahead and take the ultimate eye curl from LA Girl. And I'm going to go ahead and take the lipstick from Juvia's Place. It is called Nubian Sand. some shadow in between my lips and it's like a cute tip next I'm gonna add my lip gloss y'all Okay, so I'm about to add highlighter down my nose and I'm gonna come back, y'all. This is the final look. I ate the butterfly up, y'all. I ate the butterfly up. I'm about to go change, clean this up, and I'm gonna come right back. Okay, y'all, so I am back. I am so tired, y'all. I felt a rush of <clears throat> go to bed. But I didn't do anything to my hair. I just kept it in its natural state. I did have curls in it yesterday. Um, took a shower. The curls fell. They all out. So it's like straight and like a little bit of curls at the end. Like it's not too many that lasted. But y'all, I am obsessed with this butterfly look. I'm still shocked that I did it because sometimes when it comes to artistic stuff, I'm not really good at it. But I'll try and I'll try my best to perfect it to get it to how I like it. Other stuff, I feel like I can do it. It just takes time. And I'll be feeling like, okay, I can't do it. But if I put my mind to it and actually sit here and do it, I can do it. I just want to actually sit here and play makeup today. And actually show y'all that, look, you can do it too. You can do it too. It ain't. It ain't. If y'all made it to the end, I want y'all to drop a line down below letting me know that y'all made it all the way to the end because maybe I know the real ones watching because if they watch it, they'll drop a line down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on my next video.